Alright guys, back again. So how what a crazy week this has been. Um uh, I don't even know where to begin. I mean there's a reason I didn't make a video last week and that is because of everything that's been going on. I mean literally um, myself um, along with so many uh, self-employed people that I know have literally had their businesses and their income decimated overnight. Um, we've all been obviously trying to do the the right thing, what is our social responsibility and um, what we are, what we have to do really and unfortunately this has left me with um, to be one of those people in a situation um, currently as it stands with no income um, so what that has done is open up my world to a bit more time so in order for me not to go insane and um, what have you I thought I'm just gonna really concentrate on trying to get out as many videos as possible so Today, thankfully, I purchased everything for my reef habitat before this had all happened and when I did still have income. So luckily enough, today we're going to be talking about light. So here's the light that I'm going to be using. Um, this light is properly controversial. There's been some real uh, mixed things, uh, mixed feelings about it online. Um, I'm really lucky. I went to TMC and I have seen these lights working over their SPS um, frags and everything. And so I have, I'm in no doubt that it definitely will grow coral and that it's a great spectrum. I'm not going to go into the 84 watts debate because I'm not an electrician, I have no idea. I know that when I look at a light bulb in Tesco's for my 40 watt halogen bulb replacement, it says the equivalent of 2.5 watts, but is 100 watt, I've got no idea. So I'm not even gonna go down that, that road because I couldn't even comment on it. All I want it to do is to be able to grow my coral and uh, make my corals look really pretty. So, um, yeah, I want to put it all together, I'm going to see how it works, um, and I'm probably going to get out these videos quite, quite often, um, I'm going to probably do one every other day or something, um, I'm going to maybe show you my new tank as well, because for those of you who don't know, I actually moved in January, and I've actually shut down my 1000 litre reef tank, and I've replaced well, I have, I have kind of not shut it down really. What I've done is I've moved everything that was inside that tank into another tank. So I'm gonna give you an update probably tomorrow on that tank because my plan is now, because I have no income, I mean no income, I can't afford to buy any fish or coral. So I'm going to move some of the coral that I have from my big tank and I'm going to move it over to the reef habitat um, and I'm going to go and have a chat with Paraquatics today because while I still have like a little, a few little pennies in the bank I think I'm going to go and get a few little bits uh, now that I can sort of have on reserve just to sort of, well, just to keep it all going and to keep the momentum of the channel going and to keep building up the reef habitat because you know what else am I going to do? I'll, I'll, I'll go crazy if I'm just sitting here and I'm not, you know, I'm social distancing, I'm not isolating. So I'm thinking that this is going to really, really help me keep my sanity and maybe help somebody else as well. Um, also, I set up ages ago um, a Patreon account and now this is just like a tip jar for anybody who is in a position now more so than ever to possibly help any creators out because I'm sure before long that there'll be another advertising ban on YouTube because well who's gonna buy anything if they're if we're in this state that we're in at the moment I don't know hopefully this is all gonna pass really quickly let's see but anyway let's look a closer look at the Reef Photon by TMC. Alright, so before we add the light, when you take off your the cover for your overflow for the weir, there's actually, you can see, a little part here that you can actually cut out, and that's going to make the light fit perfectly on the tank. So I'm just going to take this bit out now. 
Okay, I was super scared about breaking it, but actually, look, it just pops out really easily. So I was able to just, actually, I was going to use a hacksaw just to do it, but actually it didn't even need that. Just a little bit of pressure and it comes out really evenly. And you can see, look, it's perfect. Because I could have just had visions of me splitting the whole thing and, and ruining it. But there we go. So that bit's come out really nicely. Okay, so that just fits there. And they've got a nice hole there. For me, it's been easier just to leave um, the wire out because we're going to tuck it all the way later and I can see exactly where I want it to be. And secure. And I can just... Going anywhere. Now, try to put my arm in there. Just aim this to be fairly central, and then you can just tighten the nut. It's at the bottom. So now you're ready to download the app once you've done all of that business. So go uh, back into your bits of paper and there's a QR code. So I'm just going to get onto my camera and where are we? There we go. So it's as simple as just pointing your phone at it. And there we go. Just comes up straight away. Double click, let's get this done, done. Uh, this is the first time I'm doing it, so just let it load up. There we go, open app. Let's make, uh, would you like it to use Bluetooth? Yes, why not? Have it all. It does say make sure that your Bluetooth's turned on. Searching for devices, well, it's not going to find one because I haven't plugged it in, so that would probably help. Oh, we've got some light going on. Look at that. Ooh. Okay, read Photon. It's found it. Please enter your password. Right, they all come with this written down. The, oh, I won't show you mine. Well, it doesn't really matter. But there you go. I think that's it. I'm not the smartest when it comes to numbers and things. New available version, a new version is available if you want to update the firmware. Press the button in the top right. Okay. 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 Okay, start. Updating firmware. Updating. Probably always good. Connecting device firmware update
starting update. It always takes a little bit of time, doesn't it? All this. Getting there. Halfway. It's exciting, isn't it? Looking at numbers change on your phone. I'm not the best when it comes to technology, so I'll probably have to pause this about five times just to make sure I'm doing it right. If I can make this work, anybody will be able to make this work. Update complete. Device has been updated. Excellent stuff. It's probably been doing stuff behind me, hasn't it? I haven't even looked. Uh, refo click on the one that I want to talk to. Clicked on it. Status. Oh. I'm doing something. Spectrum. Ah, there we go. So we've got all of our spectrums here. We're gonna. I'm gonna obviously be playing around with this for ages. There we go. Probably can't really tell. Let me see if I turn this down. Ah, that's better, huh? There we go. So. So I've got to say I'm well impressed with this light. I just love the shimmer that I'm getting. It looks really, 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 really pretty. And it's definitely well, I mean it's more than enough light for the eye anyway for the tank. Alright guys, so admittedly I've literally, well, I mean I've been playing with it for about 10 minutes and what have you and I'm already really impressed. I mean, there's no coral, there's no fish in there at the moment, but the light that I'm getting off this light is really bright um, and it's more than enough for my eyes anyway. It makes it look really pretty. I'm really liking the shimmer that I'm getting on the wall as well, which looks really pretty. It reminds me a little bit like a castle light where you're getting the shimmer and I guess it's because it is that that sort of single pendulum light. Um, I guess the proof's going to be in the pudding, so it's going to be time for me to get used to uh, changing all the settings. There's an easy mode, I've got it set on an easy mode at the moment, which is meant to be like uh, recreating like the barrier reef, so um, I've literally just put it on that for now. Um, and as I add corals and get used to my new sort of schedule myself as when I want to see the tank, I'll probably start changing and I'll um, have a look online and see if there's any other schedules that I can download. But so far, I'm really, really liking it. I think it's perfect for this tank. I think it looks really cool. I'm really impressed with the way that you can put the... Um, the, the cable management, so you can you can sort it. It looks really cool. You're not having cables hanging around everywhere, which is really nice. Um, yeah, so I'm really happy with this light. Thank God I bought it before the disaster struck us all. Um, yeah, not really much more I can say about that. So um, what I'm going to probably do is I'm going to start moving some corals and things over to this tank. I've just finished testing it as well. It's all completely cycled, so we're all looking good for that. So now that we've added light, now I can add some coral and then we can start looking at the other tests and getting it, um, hopefully getting then some coral growth um, and everything like that. So yeah, stay tuned, like, share, comment, subscribe, um, yeah, all stay safe, that's about all I can say on that and um, yeah, probably see you tomorrow.